Montana is located in northwest Montana, about 30 miles east of Idaho and about 65 miles south of the Canadian border in a beautiful, picturesque uh, Kootenai River Valley. It has tremendous recreational activities, hunting, fishing. Uh, it's somewhat off the beaten path and it's what a lot of us call the real Montana. In the 1960s and 70s, Libby was uh, a very active community. The mine was operating and it, it had a couple hundred employees working there at any one time. It was a very productive and very prosperous community. There was uh, an article that came out and it started raising some questions about why are people getting sick? And so the EPA come out here to do some uh, investigations of their own. We started looking at these industrial sites and it wasn't just workers that was getting sick, it was their wives and their children. There's vermiculite in that mine is what they were actually mining. There was actually a, an amphibole asbestos that come up with that material. And this stuff was brought to different homes and it was given away, it was offered to community members and they put it in their yards and they put it in their houses and workers would come home, their clothes would get shaken out in the dust and, and it contained a, an amphibole asbestos that uh, has caused the contaminant that we're dealing with today. CTM Smith arrived here in December of 1999. We initially arrived here to help EPA set up a community involvement center to do some sampling at some of the initial areas of interest, in particular the processing areas. So we mobilized here a team of technicians and scientists to collect soil samples, air samples, and try to get an idea of what the problem here at the hand was. In 2002-2003, we investigated almost 4,000 residential properties, and, and that entailed looking at uh, uh, interiors, attics, accessible places, crawl spaces, to the exteriors where we were investigating the soils, the yards, the gardens, flower beds, things like that. And of those properties, we got about 1,500 that met the criteria to do a cleanup or a removal action at the time. And so since that's taken place, we've identified over 8,000 properties in this uh, Libby Superfund, the National Priorities List boundary. The health and safety portion of a work team uh, is so important that, especially when you're dealing with big equipment, uh, tight spaces, crawl spaces, uh, hot weather, cold weather. So the fact that we've got over 500,000 man hours without a lost time accident is huge. This is a very technical project and we are faced with employing cleanup criteria, investigation standards to each property. Along with that comes the compassion and empathy of talking with residents and trying to get an understanding of what this town has gone through. Over the 15 years, we've performed over 5,000 residential investigations. We have about 1,500 residential properties left to inspect. Obviously, the effects of the asbestos has been a huge impact to the community but the community is ready to move forward. I'm a brand new business owner. I own a Camden Mountain Brewing Company. I think one of the most exciting things is um, there is a growing enthusiasm for Libby's future. There's a number of young people, professional people that live here and that are coming here and enjoy the outdoors. I think the future of Libby is bright. There's a lot of New businesses coming in town, there's a revitalization effort going through, there's a lot of excitement what this town can be next. A lot of people that come to visit want to come back.